Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Journeyman. In this episode we're going to finish off the last few league games for the January transfer window and go through the January transfer window, maybe come out the end of it depending on how long it takes me to go through that and how long this episode ends up being. And we're going to start this episode with a game against Cape Town City, who are the team who are currently bottom of the league. They're not the team that we were having a little battle with last season. That was FC Cape Town, who are just above us in the league at the moment, but they have played one more game than us. And I've realised that there's a lot of Cape Town team, because there's Ajax Cape Town as well. There's also another Cape Town team that was in the league below. I think they were called Cape Town All-Stars or something like that. So don't really know why they need so many teams. But yeah, we're going to start this game with relatively the same team. Moyo's going to come back in though. And... We're going to try skippers at centre back again because the rest of them we've tried. We've tried pretty much every single option and it's not really worked. Play our game and we'll win, which you would hope if we're playing against bottom of the league that we would actually play our game. If we did play our game, then we would win. But let's see, they've not got many, many, many fans and they seem to have a ridiculously big stadium as well, which is a bit odd. But let's see how we got on in this one. Hopefully, we're going to win. Need a win after, we had a couple of poor results didn't we in the last episode really towards the end. Started off so well as well, which, yeah, had higher hopes. But still, in regards to how we're doing so far compared to what I would have expected at the start of the season, we're doing above average and above expectations. So, let's demand more. Come on boys, should be getting a couple against these really. Trying that Jacobus, Justin Jacobus again, or Jacobus. Trying him on the left hand side, see if he can do any damage. Doesn't look like we're doing very much at the moment though, bit of a boring game. We're really going to have no highlights. Absolutely no highlights. So maybe they're trying to park the bus against us or something because We've scored against pretty much every other team in the league, so hopefully we can score against these. Come on, boys. Better performance, second half. Last thing that I need here is a loss against these, though. Get a tackle. Get a tackle in. No. Oh, shit. Looked offside. The offside? No. Boxel. Terrible defensive line there. One player stood in the 18 yard box, one two yards deeper, one yard one yard deeper, so <laughs> come on boys, let's let's come back in this. I can't be getting beat by bottom of the league. They've only got six points so far, come on. It's not working at the moment. It's not working at all. Something's gonna have to give, and it's gonna have to be Lucky Coon. He's gonna have to come on and get get us in back in this game. Come on, boys! Don't be letting me down now. I've come back in revitalised after the last episode. It's a good knock. Oh, <laughs> that is exactly what you'd expect from bottom of the league. Right, come on, let's get back in. The, let's let, let's go and win this now. After that, that's a bit of. Good fortune that we needed. Don't know what the keeper was up to there. He did so well to come out and then just a completely unnecessary kick out. Let's make sure we've got all these sorted out. Come on, 22 minutes. 20 minutes left. Let's get a goal. Break, 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 break. Tackle, tackle, tackle. No. Oh, good save, Miss EB. Good save, son. Love that. Put that away. I'll do, I'll do. Come on. We should have been we should really be putting these to the sword though. If they're bottom of the league, they've got six points. This should have been an easy, easy win. But instead we've made it seriously difficult for ourselves. Let's just swap the strikes over, see if that jigs something. Demand more. Come on. We can't be drawing against these. Oh no. Can't be losing against these. 
we'll tackle. Nice box hole, definitely look like a foul. But oh, nice. Go on in close suit. Go on, mate. Love it. Pass it. Nice. My Barso whippers. Chabambo, yes! Get in there, mate. Get in there, mate. We needed that. We needed that. Right, let's just hang on now. Let's hang on. Didn't really want to highlight and definitely didn't want to highlight. Are you throwing it away, Mavaso? Oh, no, 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 no. Take a long shot. No. Oh. Heart was in my mouth there a little. Take your time, Mr. Evening. Take your time, mate. Just take your time. Like, don't lose the ball now. Just keep the ball in Corsu. That is, I mean, that is exactly what I didn't want you to do, mate. That's a good save, to be fair. I think a lot of keep Harabra to let that in, 100%. Go on, Chibamba. Just keep it up this end. Nice. <gasps> Someone should have been following that in there. I think that's it, though. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Yeah, good result in the end. Well, it's a win, it's a win. A win's a win, but we made that difficult. Far too difficult, really. Good win, though. Just keeps us in touch. Keeps us in touch. Next game now against Sundowns. And these are one of the big teams in the league. So let's just see how we get on against these. Second in the league. Yeah, this might be a bit of a difficult game, this one. Might be a little bit of a difficult game. We are at home, though, and we've done all right against the bigger teams. It seems to be that we... We don't necessarily struggle against the smaller teams, but we don't really do as much damage as I'd like. And I feel like when you're in these type of leagues, you've got to be dispatching the teams that are below you or the ones that are really not that great. And then it means that when you come against the bigger teams, you can go for sort of like a draw or sneak a little win or lose a couple of the games that are the big games. But as long as you're beating the teams below you, then you should be all right. I would definitely take a draw though against these. Ahead of us in the league, probably going to be pretty, pretty solid across the course of the season, these as well. And they've got a much bigger wage budget and transfer budget than us. Quite happy so far. 0 0. Shibambo and Jacobus aren't really doing it though. Let's demand more. Yeah, let's demand more. Come on then. Oh, how has that not gone in there? Even if the header didn't. Yes, oh, get in there. And I don't know what he's doing up there. But he scored. And Mabaso, first goal for the club. Could be a big goal as well. Could be a huge goal. Right, let's just get into half time now. 1 0. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to highlight. Keep it. That is not what I want you to be doing in Corsu. Away. Oh no, nah. it's not looking good. Second phase. Knew it. Absolutely knew it. And it, again, it's in Corsa with that fullback slot. He seems to be. He seems to actually perform pretty well most of the game. But in the highlights, he's probably cost us maybe three or four goals just from. He could have just gone inside there to Kaspui. A little easy pass inside. See, like he's still performing like a six point nine, but. Oh, God, like, come on, just silly errors, much, uh, just just ridiculous errors, absolutely unnecessary errors. I'm not pleased, that's what I wanted, fired up, come on. No, not, a, oh, for fuck's sake, it's a fucking, he's, he's completely unmarked there. In LA, I'm sure I've had him on another game. I'm sure he's about five foot six. Completely unmarked off a corner. Wonder where we'd be if it wasn't for corner goals. Take your time. It's a decent. Well, I don't really. That's not really how I'm asking you to play, to be honest. But take your time. Nice. Whippers. Get in. Bang. Oh, <gasps> Peter Moyo. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I've been waiting for from you, mate. That's a such a looper goal if I've ever seen one. What a hit, mate. We're back in it. We're back in it. Take a draw now. Take a draw. Let's just make sure these aren't going to do anything. Come on. 
get another goal, probably going to need another one. I've got a, like a scary feeling they're going to get another goal, to be fair. Mm, let's just swap it around. Swap it around a little. Probably a little bit controversial to take Kuhn off there because he's actually playing the best out of my three strikers, but I've just got faith in Shabambo. He pops up, doesn't he? Pops up. Time, Matthias. Nice, that'll do. Look, oh, well, it was a good ball then. It ended up being an absolute terrible ball. Dealt with. Nice. Tiali. Oh, Tiali. Go on, do something stupid. Header. Nice. Good knockdown. He's away. It's Jacobus. Oh, good pullback, mate. Great pullback. And that is what I'm talking about, Chibambo. We've come back. We've come back with a vengeance. Right, let's just hold on to this result now. Come on. This would be a big win. Come on. Looks like we've done it. We've done it. We've actually done it. It's another scalp. It's another scalp. Really good performance, that. Proud of that. And we're fourth. And we're fifth. Decent. Okay, so we've hit the January transfer window. And we can do a little bit of a different season expectation. Doesn't really look like we can get that much more. So we'll just say mid-table finish. I mean, we're definitely going to get that. But there's no real point in putting any extra pressure just in case we have a really terrible second half of the season. And in terms of the squad, I think I'm just going to have a look around just to see what we can get in. Charles Dunn's not played hardly any games. In fact, he hasn't even started a game, so probably have to get rid of him. Okay, so the club want to extend my contract, which, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. So here we go, his new contract. They're not going to give me any more on my wage or anything like that, which is a little bit annoying. My wage budget, I mean, not my actual wage. I'm not too bothered about my actual wage, but he could have given me a little bit more money. I mean, I probably want to stay for at least like another season. It just kind of depends. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a different job in this league because I'm going to get a bit more money. And I think that's the, the way I'm going to have to win the league is by getting a bit more money than I've got because the wage budget is just piss poor at the moment. But I think another year will do me. So, yeah, let's just sign another contract. Three years will do, though. So, yeah. So, I've had a little scouter about and we've found this guy, Gladwin Chitolo. And he looks pretty solid, to be fair, and he can get him on a loan. So, I think he's definitely going to come in. And there's another guy that I've written down who's called Keegan Ritchie. He's a left back, a left mid. He's not got great tackling, but he can whip it in. So I'm probably going to end up buying him, to be honest. I think Shitolo as well. I think his contract runs out at the end of this season. So that could end up being a decent deal for us, to be fair. I think this Rich Ritchie's uh, contract runs out at the end of the season as well, but he's not available on any loans. So I'm probably going to have to just buy him. I think he's probably going to end up being a decent signing for us and it means we might be able to play a little bit of a different way and he could come on and attack a midfielder on the left, so like a left winger, instead of Messia, who's not really doing it in the league at the moment. So let's see if we can get him in for... Yeah, it's a decent decent deal, decent deal for him. All right, so this is Richie's contract. So we're going to try and get him from under a grand. Grand a week seems to be like the the range for these types of players is about, about a grand a week. And we can afford that. We can definitely afford that at the moment. So, 100. Be delighted if he goes for 900. Don't think he's going to do that. No. Let's see. Try 900 again. No. And now he wants... Ooh, don't want to... Don't want him to go orange, to be fair. Do not want him to go orange. But I don't really want to pay anything too extensive on the agent and the sign on fee. But 2k for each is quite decent, I reckon. Stick that clean sheet bonus up. A little bottom team of the year as well. 95, good deal that. Really, really good deal. I'm happy with that. And he's set to sign now. Keegan Richie, which is good stuff. Happy with that. Good little left back to bring in. And Shitolo as well is going to come in on loan. So that's a really good, really good pair to get in. And that kind of might do us for now, really, to be fair. I've had a, look, a little bit of a look around and it doesn't really seem to be anybody. And this Shitolo can play centre back as well. So you can probably fill in there quite a bit. So yeah. So there's this guy I've just found. He's a striker. He's. On trial at us at the moment, he's obviously got really good dribbling, finishing first touch. He is a foreign player, but obviously because we're getting rid of Charles Dunn, it's not really the end of the world if we do get him in. So we're going to offer him a contract. And 
He wants quite a big wage, to be fair to him. 2.1 star is not good. Probably going to go from 12 from about 1.5. But I think Chibambo is on 1.3, so we can go down to about 1.5. So he's on about 2 grand at the moment. I don't really want to give him about 2 grand, to be fair. Let's try 1.6. Still wants more. I think he will take 1.6, though. So let's give him a little bit more sign on fee and see if he, see if he bites at that. Maybe boost that team in the air up a little bit. Still wants more. A little bit more for a goal. I think this guy will score goals though, so quite keen to get him. 1.6. I'm happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. He should be quite a good striker. Alright, so he's just been offered a contract by Supersport United. Oh, he better not just accept their contract. In light of Supersport making that offer, I'm going to change his contract offer and I'm going to off him a little bit more a week even though really I don't want to but there isn't really any other strikers knocking about at the moment and I could do with bringing a striker in just to fire me to the end of the season so he's obviously going to accept that but we'll see how we get on alright so Seguama I've loaned him out he wasn't really doing the biz so it's might as well and Mabalulu has accepted super sport you bastard Found this guy when I was looking around. He's at Portsmouth at the moment. He's usually a bit of a glitch on Footy Manager, this Nimali guy. I think he used to be at City at one point, and he kind of fits the bill for what I want. I can get him on a loan, but I can't afford his wages if I do. So I might try and get him and maybe get them to pay some of his wages and just see how I get on with that. And they've declined the offer now, so it's going to have to go back down to 500, 600. See how we get on. Okay, so they've accepted that offer. Nimali now on a contract. He wants even more than Mabalulu did, but I'm kind of willing to pay him the money because I think he'll absolutely bang them in in this league. So 2.2 is the best we can offer, so we'll go to 2 for now. Drop that sign in an agent fee. Give him a little bit more on these. It's going to be a pretty expensive contract this, though, to be fair. Give him a little bit more of his sell-on fee as well. Usually they like that. I'm not going to think about selling him anytime particularly soon. 25 grand between the two of them. 2.2. Kind of happy with that. Kind of happy with that. Okay, so Siwala. I'm just having another look at him again, just in case something random would come up with him. And he doesn't look like he's playing at the moment. He wants 60 grand to buy him back, which isn't really the end of the world if I wanted to pay it. And he is South African as well, so obviously it kind of means that I can go and put a foreign player into somewhere else. Let's just see if he... Oh, they'll accept a loan deal for him. Would be ideal to get back in on loan because he is 29, so buying him I don't really want to do, but obviously he probably will be worth it. So let's see how we get on with this loan deal. Hopefully he'll accept. So we've signed Nimali. Pretty happy with that, to be honest. A big transfer, but I think that he could bang us into a good position in the league, to be honest. Siwal has rejected the loan. Why? Alright, so transfer deadline's passed. That's all the business we did. So we got a centre mid, kind of can play defensive midfield, centre midfield as well. Pretty happy with him in Shitolo. And got Keegan Ritchie at left back, who could be a really good left back, to be fair. He's come from a decent team. He's come from Super Sport United, who bought my Balulu. And we've got Nibali, who I think will be a really top striker in this league. I can't see him not scoring goals. He has got a couple of little bit dodgy stats. But I think that he's got a good pace and in this league, pace is going to kind of override everything else. So hopefully he's going to do the business for us. So that's the end of this episode. It was a quick episode, really. And in the next episode, we'll try and finish the league off, depending on how we do in the Cups and how many games that we end up having and how long we can be bothered to record for, to be honest. So yeah, if you liked the episode, then hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, then yeah, I'd really love it if you did. And I'll see you next time, guys.